be dope that we can give you back-to-back -back streams. You go RB, you go Eastwood. You go RB, you go run it back Philly, back-to-back. -back. RB, Eastwood, back-to-back. Yep. Yeah. I've been talking a lot of... You know, I've been talking all that stuff about this guy, Jokic, lately, so... Let's go ahead and watch a Nuggets game, man. Let's go ahead and watch a Nuggets game. I've been talking that stuff about this guy, Jokic. I don't know if anybody's even going to come over to the YouTube stream, but hey... We're in here on playback, man. We're in here on playback. They're going to catch on soon, man. They're going to catch on soon. You guys can hear me on playback? How's the audio? I'm using the same mic in two different locations, so you know, I hope the I hope everything's sounds good. I'm try I'm I finally think maybe I figured out how to use my my mic in both both areas. You know, this uh SM this sure SM seven B with the Roadcaster Pro and everything, you know, is, is a little bit of a little bit of money invested. You know what I mean? A little bit of money invested in that. So when I was when I was forced to use that little fifty dollar Yeti USB mic, it was like sounded okay. But it was disappointing that I was that I was using that because you know it just it doesn't sound like this bro it just doesn't it doesn't sound like this let's go let's pop up on the tube man what's going on on the YouTube side of things what's going on with you people what's going on let me get my viewer count up over here um yeah 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 you know me you know I'm an NBA fan uh, so this is cool for me to start doing this because, you know, basically I would be sitting at, I would be sitting downstairs on my couch doing this anyway. Um, so, you know, when, when, when playback TV hit me up and said, Hey, we got this platform, man, where you can live stream game streams, you know, all people need to do is enter their TV provider and they can watch the stream with you. And I was like, I'm in. And then I figured like, I might as well, I might as well stream it to YouTube also to, to, you know, use, you know, my YouTube following to, to promote it and let people know about it. So shout out to it, man. Um, Damn, what's up, man? Do you see yourself using the join stage portion of playback? Yeah, I, I see myself doing that. Uh, when's this game gonna start? Uh, you know, ESPN says ten o'clock. It's probably more like ten thirty, right? The only thing is, I don't want there to be an echo. You know, if I bring somebody up, and then we're we're over on YouTube at the same time, I I just I have a fear there's gonna be an echo from two different streams. Audio coming from two different streams, but uh, but if I turn off USB mix minus, then the game audio from playback will go to YouTube, and I will get nailed with copyright. So, you know, there's some it's a, a couple things to there's a couple uh, a couple obstacles. Nicola, let's go, man. <laughs> Nicola, MVP Joker's in the chat. He's been in the chat for a minute. I, I, I shout out to you, man, for for supporting supporting me and coming through the streams. Being a Denver Nuggets fan, uh, I appreciate it. And even when I express my and I don't have disdain for Nikola Jokic, I enjoy watching him. I have disdain for how the NBA community freaks out 
at everything that he does because of the PER numbers. You know what I mean? That's all. But thanks for being here, man. Yo, uh, Nicola MVP Yoker says, I can't believe you're watching the greatest center of all time. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. That's that's fine. That's that's whatever you want to believe, man, in your in your own little world, man. Oh, <laughs> RB had a hater in the chat, he's telling me, man. RB had a hater in the chat. Listen, me and, me and RB communicate uh, on the regular, um, and we've been talking a lot about this playback thing and, and when they hit us up, and we were like, you know, we should, we should live stream games on YouTube and, you know, playback at the same time. And we were a little skeptical at first to kind of step outside the box on YouTube because... Um, because, uh, you know, people on YouTube, they subscribe to a channel and they want that specific topic 24-7. And if you go outside of the box even a little bit, they will come in and be like, that's not why I subscribe to this channel. I don't want to see this crap. And they will just, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy, but people today probably people ever, um, a little bit self-righteous, you know, they, they think their favorite YouTube channel belongs to them. They think you're supposed to do exactly what they want all the time. Um, the way I see it, I've always been a basketball head. I told you guys this, uh, you know, and I'm, I'm a, I'm a hardcore Philly sports fan, but I wouldn't call myself a, uh, a deep analyst of, of the Philadelphia Eagles. I wouldn't call myself a deep analyst of the Philadelphia Phillies. I watch them. I love them. I root for them. When it comes to basketball, man, I've always just been, you know, obsessed with it. So I've always watched the game and f for enjoyment, you know? Um, so I figured, like, I want to do what I want to do. You know what I mean? I want to do what I want to do. If I want to pop up and watch the Denver Nuggets versus Phoenix Suns game, come in and hang out. And if you don't want to, don't come in and hang out. You know? But I just figured I'm going to do what I want to do because I know there's probably people out there that enjoy what I enjoy. So we'll find the people who enjoy it. We'll find the people who enjoy it, man. I've had people comment and say, like, I think I uh, I had Swipe a Cam on. Speaking of Swipe a Cam, and, and Nicola MVP Joker, and I can admit that Embiid would have easily won MVP in 2021 if he didn't get hurt. Yeah, he probably would have. Um, probably would have. That's a tough one. You know, they're like, well, the... The best ability is availability. Uh, like, who was the most valuable player, bro? Uh, but uh, speaking of Swipe Cam, I had him on the show last year one time, and I had, like, Sixers fan. You know, they just, I don't know. I never understand it, bro. I've never been, I get burnt out doing the same thing, talking by myself all the time or, or bringing just Sixers fans on the channel or whatever. I get burnt out. I get bored, bro. I get bored. You know, so I like to switch it up. I like to get different perspectives. And I brought Swipe a Cam on uh, last year a couple times. And this dude was in the chat like, Oh, not this, not this Nuggets fan again, man. This isn't why I subscribe to this channel. I'm out of here. <laughs> See ya. Fucking weirdo. You know what I mean? And I, and 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 I think for a long time on YouTube I would I was focused on like I gotta make the core I gotta make the core subscribers happy I gotta make the I gotta do with they you know I can't step outside the box I don't want people to unsubscribe yada 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 I'm not on that anymore man I'm doing whatever the hell I want I'm doing whatever the hell I want 
and uh, people like it, they can join. If they don't like it, they can not watch it, bro. It's that simple. Plus, like, let's be honest. Like, you got, you know, let's be honest, man. Um, covering Philly sports, you can amass, you know, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000 subscribers. But that's not, you know, that's it's just at the end of the day, the money on YouTube, it's just those numbers are not life-changing numbers, man. You start to step outside the box a little bit, and expand a little bit and appeal to a wider audience, uh, you can amass, you know, 100,000, 300,000, a million. So, at the end of the day, man, I got bills to pay. I got kids to feed. I got lights to keep on, man. <laughs> and I love basketball. I'm getting paid to watch basketball games, bro. Let's be serious here. All right, here you go, zero zero. They got a let's go Nuggets chant going on. Jamal Murray from the block fadeaway jumper. Jamal Murray's nice man. Jamal Murray had the Denver Nuggets in that Western Conference Finals when he had back to back fifty point games. You know, Jokic was the number two option on the squad. <laughs> oh, we got a poster dunk. Bismack Biombo. Uh nah, but I mean Murray was the go-to scorer on that team. Jokic is the facilitator. You know? People wonder why the Suns are dog shit right now. Look at the starting lineup. Yeah, seriously. They don't have anybody, bro. Is is Chris Paul even playing? They got Dario Sarge starting. What can you really do when you're starting Dario Sarge, man? Who Philly thought was, you know... Who Philly thought was, was uh, the next... Hito Turkaloo or something, man. We thought he was going to be amazing. We thought he was going to be amazing. Here is Dario Sarge on the block. Jamal Murray's kind of calling him out. Dario gives him a hook shot, and he missed it short. Come on, Dario. Make make the process proud. And you got an Aaron Gordon dunk on the other end. So that's what happens when Dario Sarge shoots the ball. Uh, the other team ends up with two points. <laughs> Bismack Biombo. Bismack Biombo is going for 40. Here's Jokic tries to throw a backdoor pass to uh Caldwell Pope. Is that Caldwell Pope? Is that Caldwell Pope? What's up to everybody in the YouTube chat? Thank you, thank you to everybody in the playback chat, man. This is cool, bro. This is cool. We're going to chill. We're going to hang out late night, watch a West Coast game. This is fun. This is fun. I like it. All right, here's Jamal Murray on the left side. Back to Jokic, a little handoff to Murray. You see Murray with the jumper. You see what, the, That's how Ben Simmons used to get all of his assists, man. And I'm not hate watching Jokic at all, but when you're just handing the ball off to guards the whole game, you're going to have a lot of assists, man. It doesn't make it the greatest performance of all time. Who is that? Washington from the corner. I'm going to have to get the rosters up here f with me to, to keep up with this because I don't even know who the hell is playing for the Suns, man. I put Chris Paul on the thumbnail. He's not even playing. <laughs> George Washington. Jokic, the handoff. Michael Porter Jr., see if that counts as, as an assist. I'm going to be annoyed. If that counts as an assist, I'm going to be annoyed. That's, I mean, it's a good play. But like, okay, you handed the ball off 16 times and didn't shoot it. That That's the best performance of all time. That was a great steal by Jokic. And he's going to drive on a fast break. A Euro step. Oh, he shanked it at the front of the rim because he can't jump. Gets his own offensive rebound somehow. 
and puts it back in. Man, that's embarrassing for those guys to give up that offensive rebound to somebody that jumps basically as high as George Niang. <laughs> Mikel Bridges, Philly native, who Brett Brown traded like a moron, uh, misses the shot. Jamal Murray over to Caldwell Pope for three. Bang. This Denver Nuggets team has a nice roster, man. They do have a nice roster, and, you know, with Jokic playing point guard, I really think uh, with Jamal Murray, Michael Porter Jr., if they can stay healthy, man, this is this team can be dangerous in the West for sure. And they were in the Western Conference Finals that, that year. Uh, who'd they lose to? Who'd they lose to in the Western Conference Finals? Wow. Aaron Gordon behind the back under the rim to Jokic, and he's talking shit. Jokic is popping off. He's talking shit. He's, oh, he's yelling at the ref. Yeah, they lost to, oh, they lost to the Lakers? Just Hectic in the chat on YouTube. What's going on? Dario Sarge up to Craig? Corey Craig? Is that who that is? They lost to the Suns in the Western Conference Finals? I don't remember. I don't remember that. I've always been such a Sixers fan of, and a, and a basketball fan, but it was the Lakers. But I've never intently, you know, I always catch myself not really paying attention to the rest of the league too much. So it's this is cool for me too, you know. I really want to pay more attention to the rest of the league and really learn the ins and the outs of of all the other teams in the NBA. Got to expand your horizon, man. Hey, what's up, man? Thanks for being a member, as always. Tyrese Maxey to the three-point contest. Are you serious? Is that a real thing? Stop it. Are you serious? It's looking like... uh. I'm trying to get to that 10K for that creator fund. Uh, it's looking like um, Joel Embiid's going to be the starting center in the All Star game, or the starting uh, what do they call it? Front court, back court, what do they call it? But Joel Embiid's going to be a starter, and everyone's going to be mad about it. All the haters are going to be mad. They can stay mad. They can stay mad. I had the voting up here. Uh, let me put it on. Put it on the screen on YouTube. I think I had the the all star voting up here. Here it is. Here it is. We got uh so far, and this is actually posted by Swipe a Cam, our favorite. <laughs> uh. There's the front court. Kevin Durant, he's injured, so he's not going to play in the All-Star game. Giannis, of course. And the third leading vote-getter in the front court is Joel Embiid. So Joel Embiid's going to be the starting center in the All-Star game. Haters can cry. Haters can cry tears. Haters can cry, cry, cry real tears. Uh, who else on there? Jason Tatum, of course. Jimmy Butler. What's Jimmy Butler been doing this season? Has Jimmy Butler been balling out this season? I don't I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm really interested in Jimmy Butler being in an all-star game at this point of his career. Uh Pascal Siakam. Pascal deserves it. He deserves it. He's putting up numbers in Toronto, although I think he elbows people too much. Pascal Elbow Siakam. Uh Kyle Kuzma. I mean, I guess when you're playing in Washington, you know, you're you're eligible for an all-star vote because you're the only player on the team doing anything. Bradley Beal, insanely... How overrated is Bradley Beal? Wow. Is Bradley Beal hurt? Speaking of Bradley Beal... Hold on a second. Number eight, Paolo Bancaro, the rookie... With number nine in all-star votes, that's pretty impressive, man. Nick Claxton in Brooklyn. Jared Allen in Cleveland. I love Jared Allen. The, the, the Nets are one of the dumbest franchises ever for that James Harden trade. 
where they gave up. Oh my God, what did they give up? Jared Allen, Karis Levert, uh, like four, four first round draft picks, and three first round draft picks, and two pick swaps. Man. Uh, then you got Kyrie Irving, leading vote getter for guards. I, I respect that. He's one of the best players I've ever seen in my life. Donovan Mitchell, I respect that. James Harden, number three. Jalen Brown. How positions are weird. How Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown are both small forwards to me. I'm sorry. I don't I don't picture J I I don't call Jalen Brown a, a shooting guard, but whatever. Uh Trey Young, DeMar DeRozan, Lamelo Ball, Tyrese Halliburton, Derrick Rose, Darius Garland. I think Darius Garland should be way higher. Um Yeah, I think James Harden should get in as a reserve. I think it should it should be the top of this. Like what this is right here. It should be Kyrie Irving, Donovan Mitchell. Uh, Giannis, Embiid, and Tatum. I think that's what it should be in the East. I think that's what it should be in the East, man. Oh, Paolo is good. I, I'm, you know, he's very good. It's wild for a rookie to have that many All-Star votes. When's the last time a rookie got in the All-Star game? I think it was Blake Griffin. I think it was Blake Griffin in 2010. Who hit that one? Caldwell Pope's coming out swinging in this game. Caldwell Pope's coming out swinging. Tory Craig leading the Suns in scoring. That's and it, that's wild. The the injuries they're dealing with. There's a steal by Aaron Gordon. Throws it all the way down to Jamal Murray, who's defended by uh, Dario Saric, and then. Porter gets fouled. Someone just said Harden over Kyrie. Now, come on now. <laughs> Daquan, come on, bro. Come on. Kyrie Irving is still a, a, a superstar. You can still classify Kyrie Irving as a superstar. Um, can, you, can you classify James Harden as a superstar, you know? I think James Harden at this point in his career is just a very, very good point guard, man. Very, very good point guard. And we'll take that. That's something that Joel Embiid has needed his whole career. He's needed a very, very good point guard. Playing with after playing with Fraud Simmons for how many years? Here's Bridges. Suns need Mikel Bridges to be a star in this game. They need Mikel Bridges to be to be the star in this game, man. They don't have anybody. They don't have anybody, man. Twenty to fourteen, Denver. What's my score look like over on YouTube, bro? Where's my scoreboard at? There we go. Nice. I'm ahead of the score. That's awesome. That's awesome. I like to be ahead of the score. I don't want to be that far ahead, though. I don't know if it updates in real time. There it is. Oh, I'm behind the score. Damn. I keep trying to get a scoreboard on the YouTube stream that's lined up with my reactions and it's just it's not easy to do it's too much of a delay here's Jokic he is a point guard can we just accept it now Michael Porter Jr. for three back rimmed it Mark Jackson just said think about it you got a center bringing the ball up the floor he's basically playing point guard from the center position He's just playing point guard. It's just not that. It's not earth shattering. He's playing point guard. He's a play. He's a very good point guard. This is not the most insane any thing anyone's ever seen. Magic Johnson was a six ten point guard. They're acting like this never happened before. And Magic Johnson played center in the NBA Finals as a rookie. 
and won the NBA championship. And they're acting like this, this is the most amazing thing they've ever seen. This has happened before. Magic Johnson was a 6'10 center. Here's Caldwell Pope from the corner. Splash again. How many points Caldwell Pope have in the first quarter, man? Caldwell Pope's balling. Landale. Who's this dude with the mullet out here? I don't know half of these players on the Suns, man. <laughs> the Mark Jackson quotes, Mama, there goes that man. Will, Cham Will Chamberlain was Jokic with Embiid's body. Will Chamberlain was an absolute freak of nature that is, still has just never been, never even been seen again in an NBA player. But, you know, maybe, uh, maybe Wilt was just way ahead of his time, you know. Maybe Wilt Chamberlain was, was, uh, Yeah, I, can, I don't know. I was going to try to think of somebody I could compare to Will Chamberlain, but you just can't. <laughs> you just can't. Carlos Halloway, what's up? Jokic with the charge. Runs back because he knows he did it. Oh, Koji. Oh, Koji. Draws a charge from Jokic. Hey, we got 19 in the playback room, man. Let's get to 20. Shout out to everybody here, man. I appreciate you guys. I can pop up at 10 o'clock on a Wednesday watching a West Coast basketball game and get 20 in the playback. Let's go. Let's go, man. You guys are the realest, bro. You guys are the absolute realest. We're going to grow this thing. We're going to grow this thing to the, to the hundreds. We're going to grow this to the hundreds, man. We're going to be doing hundreds of viewers in the playback. Here is Landale for three. That Jack Harlow ass haircut. Hey, look at Joker play. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at Jokic playing a. Beside the rim. Look at Jokic playing like a center. I mean, it is Landale down there, but shout out to Jokic getting under, getting on the block. Tory Craig again. Is that Tory Craig? No, that's Olaja. Oh, Ola what the hell's his name? What the hell's his name, bro? Okoji. Josh Okoji. Am I saying that right? Or somebody's going to correct me. <laughs> Let me get the... Uh, a Kogi. That's how the announcer's saying it. A Kogi. A Kogi? A Kogi. There's Jokic under the rim again. Jokic is playing bully ball now. I'm not going to lie. He's playing center now. Jokic heard me talking that shit. Jokic heard me talking that shit. Now he's playing. He said, Yo, oh, yeah, I got you. I'm not a center. I got you, DJ Eastwood. I'm going to get under the rim. He got under the rim two possessions in a row. <clears throat> two possessions in a row he got under the rim, so. Shout out to Jokic for proving me wrong, man. Jaquan Adams, has Kyrie ever made a first team? Dude ain't no superstar. Lies, bro. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Come on, Daquan. Watch ball, dude. Watch ball. Kyrie Irving is one of the best ball handlers that's ever played the game. He's one of the best finishers around the rim that has ever played the game. He's one of the most craftiest guards that's ever played the game. 
the way he knifes through a defense and gets to gets to the rim and finishes is just unbelievable. It's still unbelievable. It's been unbelievable. It was unbelievable from the time he stepped on the court as a rookie. It was unbelievable in college. A unanimous number one overall pick who hardly even played in college. Do you know how good you have to be at that size to be a unanimous number one overall pick when hardly playing any college basketball games? Everybody knew how good Kyrie Irving was, bro. Kyrie Irving is one of the most all-around skilled offensive players ever, ever, ever to play. Ever. 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 Come on, man. Jamal Crawford was nice with handles also. We're, we're comparing Jamal Crawford to Kyrie Irving. Daquan, are you drinking? Are you drinking, Daquan? Because... I need some of what you're drinking, bro. I'm drinking. I'm drinking. I'm drinking a Trogues Grand Cacao, but I, I need whatever you're drinking. When has Kyrie taken a team to the playoffs as a number one? He hasn't. He hasn't. I never said he did. I don't think you have to lead a team to a championship to be voted an all-star. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't think you have to lead a team to a championship to be voted an all-star. You can just be you can just be an all-star point guard, right? You can just be an all-star shooting guard, right? I mean, like I think uh look, I think Tyrese Maxey in a in a couple years time uh could possibly be an NBA all-star. Do I think Tyrese Maxey would ever lead an NBA team to an NBA championship by himself? No, not at all. He ain't no superstar then. He's a good number two. Uh, I guess it depends on your criteria of superstar. I mean, going back to Swipe a Cam, Swipe a Cam told us that um, Joel Embiid's not a superstar because you need uh, you need to advance to the Western Conference Finals and you need to have M- you need to have multiple MVPs. And uh, Jokic has the highest player efficiency rating of all time. This is, you know, Swipe Cam tells us that that uh, Joel Embiid is not a superstar, which is just an absolutely asinine take. Uh, but yeah, I, you know, I guess people have different criteria for superstars. But if you're, I think Kyrie's a superstar. I don't think he's, again, I don't think he would ever lead a team anywhere. He's just a bucket getter. You saw him in Boston, you know, he's just a bucket. But he's one of the best buckets to ever play the game. So that's how I see it. That's how I see it, man. Man, the Suns. This should not be a close game with the way the Suns roster is right now. This should not be a close game. Bones Highland. Bones Highland drives in the lane, a little little turnaround hook shot. A little turnaround hook shot. Oh my god, that was a horrendous air ball. Did you guys see that? Oof. Did you guys who just blew out the healthy Warriors? The Suns did. Did they? Was that last night or two nights ago? Yeah, Bones Highland is a very nice bench player, man. Bones Highland is a very nice six man. Oh, that's a travel, bro. Come on, man. Travel and cut your hair. You can't have a you can't have a haircut like that and be traveling out here. Landale. Looks like he traveled to the Local dive bar with that cut. <laughs> Who was that? Highland again? Bones Highland. Look at this kid, man. He's balling. Bones Highland is balling. Here is. Who was that with the block, man? Mm. 
Who's 22? Zeke Najee. Zeke Najee, did I say that name right? That's Damian Lee with the dreads, isn't it? Uh, I was talking about the Sixers possibly signing Damian Lee in the offseason. He's been overrated ever since... Uh, Damian Lee's been overrated ever since he played for Golden State, too. Bones Highland is very nice. Bones Highland and Emmanuel Quickly are the same person. Maxi over Bones. Uh, Bo V not close between Maxi and Bones. Um, I see a lot of similarities. Oof. Murray kind of a no-look fadeaway three at the end of the first quarter. Tyrese Maxey isn't going to be a superstar, but he's going to be a borderline all-star. Uh, Tyrese Maxey's 22, you know. I don't, I don't think we can really... I don't think we can really say that. I don't think we can really, you know, predict what he's, what he's going to be or what he could possibly be, man. You know what I mean? Like the sky is the limit. The sky is the limit for Tyrese Maxey, man. The sky is the limit, honestly. Like what Maxey did in two off seasons is crazy. Who's to say Tyrese Maxey won't be on a Damian Lillard level, you know, uh, Damian in his prime level? Sixer fan, exactly. Look at SGA. Look at SGA. He might be a superstar. Two years ago, people were probably saying, you know, what What was it? Just, just a couple years ago, Glenn Rivers wouldn't even put SGA on the floor. And the leap Tyrese took in year three, it's like, what kind of leap is he going to take year five? You know, he's always learning the game. He's always adding things to his arsenal, man. You know, he added the three-point shot after his rookie season. He shot 29% at Kentucky. He shot 30% his rookie season in the NBA. And then he came back the very next year and shot 42.5% from three. It was the second overall three-point shooter percentage-wise in the entire NBA. So I think this year he's he's tried more to add a little more ISO to his game, add a little more shot creation to his game. Uh, be a little bit more aggressive and and sure of himself and take control of the game a little bit more than he did last season. Know know that 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 he's a. You know what I mean. Know that he's a vital part of this team and that he's a he can get he can score. And a little bit more of a facilitator this year, I think, with the, out of the pick and roll and stuff. So. You know, who's to say who's to say what, what he can do year three, year four, year five, man? What kind of leap is Tyrese Maxey gonna take next year? <clears throat> Glenn Rivers not putting a twenty year old on the floor shouldn't count in any argument. <laughs> that's accurate. That's that's a very accurate take right there, Tyrell. Tyrell, did I say that right? It's a very accurate take. Maxi has improved every single year, has an unparalleled work ethic and great attitude. I agree. The sky's the limit for Tyrese Maxi. We got 21 over in the playback room, man. Thank you guys for being here. RB, what's up? Thanks for thanks for coming through, man. I was just hanging out in your stream. Uh I was in RB's stream a couple minutes ago. Now he's in mine. Maxi is Maxi Harden and Bead the best trio in the NBA. I think I got to put him up there with, uh, I got to put him up there with, uh, man. All right, let's go. Let's go off the top. Who, who, who you put up there, the best trios in the NBA, throw them in the chat. Um, Giannis holiday, Middleton, uh, team we're watching right now, Jokic, Porter jr. And, uh, Jamal Murray. That's gotta be up there for, for best trios in the NBA. Right. Um, I guess the Celtics, Tatum, Brown, and 
I don't know. That's a tough one. Marcus Smart. The Brooklyn Nets, Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and Ben Simmons. <laughs> There's speaking of Jamal Murray, he hits another three. Jokic, Gordon Murray. Come on, bro. Wait, go well, I don't know. I haven't watched the Denver Nuggets a lot this year. Is Aaron Gordon is Aaron Gordon the, the big part of the big three? It's not Michael Porter Jr. like I thought it was. Um yeah, I guess I got it. When healthy, I have to say the Sixers are, are up there. Probably a top two or three trio, right? Yeah, Gore, I, I've seen it. I've seen some, definitely seen some Aaron Gordon highlights. I saw the game uh, where he had a poster dunk to win the damn game. That was ridiculous. I was watching that live. They called it a charge, which you don't really see NBA refs call a poster dunk a charge in the first place. And for it to be a shot that was for it to be a shot that was uh to win a game was a funny call and then they challenged it and overturned it. That's what's up. Shout out to Aaron Gordon, man. You know, maybe he just wasn't being used right all those years in Orlando. Uh I always just thought Aaron Gordon was just kind of a dunk contest guy and not not much of a a ball player, but I mean he's never going to be I don't think he was ever supposed to be a superstar. I think Orlando thought he was going to be one, but really, yeah, he's just a big rebounder, defender, finisher. Uh, has Aaron Gordon, I thought he developed a little bit of a three-point shot in Orlando. Does he have one now? Does he have a decent three-point shot? Jabbar, you're right. I was gonna say Memphis, and I, uh, I was trying to think of the of the three. Ja Morant, Desmond Bain, and Jaron Jackson Jr. It's a pretty good big three, if you ask me. It's a pretty good big three, if you ask me. What's uh, what's DeAndre Ayton's injury? So the Suns have none of their starters. None. I mean, uh, Mikel Bridges. But, and Ms. Bismack Biamba was starting, wasn't he? Andrew Wiggins with muscles. Is that Aaron Gordon? Uh, Tory Craig, Bismack Biambo, Dario Sarge, Mikel Bridges, and Dwayne Washington Jr. That's... Man, let, all right, here's all the injuries for the Sun. Devin Booker, groin, Cameron Payne, foot, Cameron Johnson, knee, Chris Paul, hip, Landry Shamit, hip, DeAndre Ayton, ankle. Man, that's tough. And I think Devin Booker came back before Christmas, right? For like two games and then was out again, and now he's going to be out for a month. Jamal Murray skips all the way to the right side. Who's that? Is that Bruce Brown? Bruce Brown rimmed out. But he dives on the floor for a loose ball. Oh, there's some kicking going on. Najee for three. Missed it. All that hustle. And there's an over the back they didn't call. Bones Highland for three. Bam. The Nuggets just got uh, three offensive rebounds in one possession. Three off offensive rebounds in one possession, man. Devonta, what's going on? Devonta Smith's burner. NFL playoffs, play by play. Um, you know what? If it's gonna do, if it's gonna do views, I, I'm in, bro. Uh, I'm 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 getting to the point where if something's gonna do views, I'm in, man. NFL playoffs will be huge. Uh. I did the Eagles game last Sunday. That was fun. Can't do it on playback. That sucks. Can't, you know, we can't. Playback doesn't have the NFL license, so we can't stream games um, on playback. We can't stream NFL games on playback yet. They say they're they're going to have the 
They're going to have an NFL license next year. We'll see if that holds true. Um, but yeah, uh, I might watch NFL playoff games on, on YouTube. With this watch along stuff, man, I'm 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 gonna take it to the next level. Um, I'm gonna redo everything up here in the studio because right now I'm just watching games on a computer monitor. But uh, I'm basically gonna put two big ass TVs up here and run my PC to the TVs so I can sit back and watch the game on a nice big screen and have it streaming at the same time. Uh, so I'm pretty excited to do that. Mr. Dread, what's up? You, you ever been to Zero Day? It's a brewery in Harrisburg. Zero Day? Never heard of it. Never heard of Zero Day. But I'm not like, I'm not like some kind of beer connoisseur either. I'm not somebody that goes to like all kinds of different breweries and tries a whole bunch of different things really. I just like my I just like my Trogues chocolate stout that I get at the grocery store around the corner, man. <laughs> I get this at Giant Grocery Store right around the corner from my house. Sponsor me, Trogues. Booker came back and re-injured. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's a, that's what I thought would happen. Denver doesn't have a big three. It's mostly Jokic and Murray. Molly Hot Takes in the chat. <laughs> you guys you guys think I'm a Jokic hater, bro. Molly Hot Takes says, Jokic three for five on layups, and we're supposed to believe this guy dominates. <laughs> Drew Middleton Giannis, I believe, uh, I believe that. Kopik says, spill some details about the Bleacher Report show. Uh, we're doing a live stream on Bleacher Report. Bleacher Report app on January 31st at 4 p.m. Um, I, there's not much much more details than that. They basically told me they're going to produce it and they're going to set it up and produce the whole thing and I'm going to log in and stream the same way I stream on YouTube or Playback or anywhere else. Uh, and I think they're going to give me topics that they want me to cover and I'm just going to sit here and chop it up the same way I do on YouTube or anywhere else. Just inside the Bleacher Report app, you know? So I'm going to be tr I'm going to be promoting that a lot as we get closer to it because I want those you know, I want those numbers to be up there, man. Uh you know, Bleacher Report just had a stream with uh Kenny Beecham from YouTube and and Isaiah Thomas, former NBA player, we're doing a watch along. Um, you know, so hey man, if I get, I mean, if I get, they just had a stream with uh, Dom Two K, you know, the big big Two K creator that was doing like a, a Boston Celtics stream. Um, they're just trying to get traffic to their app basically because they want to do they want to do live streaming shows daily inside the bleacher report app and uh that's the way of the future that's what it's that's what it's going towards everybody knows that you know people go live on instagram people go live on tiktok people go live on youtube mobile like basically most people are consuming their content especially you know podcast video content on their phone everybody knows that you know so Bleacher Report's got some bread, and, uh, you know, they know they can get some people in their live streams. They just had Mattress Mac on their live talking about the Georgia TCU game and his bet that he had on that game, which I think was like $2 million that he lost, obviously, because they lost, like, what, 65 to 7 well, yeah, so we'll see how it turns out. And honestly, to be to even be in the same conversation as some of those some of those names is uh is is wild. Is wild to me. So we'll try to get some we'll try to get some viewers in there, man. 
try to get some viewers in there. Tyrell, is it going to be a Sixer stream? Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a Philadelphia 76er stream straight up. Just me covering a couple of topics when it comes to the Sixers uh on the Bleacher Report app. January 31st at 4 p.m. 50 to 33. Looks like this one's going to be a blowout. Um It's going to be a Sixer stream, man. It should be fun. Should be fun. Fly OGK, what's going on? Jokic MVP. Eh. 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 <laughs> we'll see. We'll see, man. My vote for MVP right now is... Is Luka Doncic or Joel Embiid? That's my vote right now. That's my vote right now. I, I'll probably go Luka Doncic because he has a lot less to work with, you know, which is wild, actually. The Dallas Mavericks can't seem to put a team around him. Ben Simmons MVP. Ben Simmons isn't even a... He's not even a high-level role player anymore, man. What did the Nets do today? Did the Nets play tonight? Let's see. Knicks beat the Pacers 119-113. to Grizzlies beat the Spurs 135-129. Celtics beat the Pelicans. So the Pelicans are playing without anybody also now that Zion's out. Brandon Ingram's out. Uh... Nets didn't play today. The Bucks almost lost to the Hawks. They were up by 30 and blew the whole lead. It was like a three-point game towards the end, which is crazy. Pistons, after getting routed by the Sixers, after, after losing by like 100 points to the Sixers, the Pistons go out and beat the Minnesota Timberwolves. Anthony Edwards... Rudy Gobert had 16 and 14 rebounds. Where's uh Where's Carl Anthony Towns at, man? What's up with Towns? Why why isn't he playing? Shout out to everybody on the tube. Shout out to everybody in the Playback TV stream. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Tell a friend to tell a friend, man. We're going to double these playback numbers. We're going to double these playback numbers by by the All-Star break. We're going to double these playback numbers by the All-Star break, man. Let's see if Simmons can score over 10 with Durant out. Yeah, right. I was listening to a podcast yesterday that was like... uh. I don't know, the Ringer NBA or something. And the one guy was like, man, you know, Ben Simmons needs to step up in the absence of Kevin Durant. <laughs> you know, here's Caldwell Pope for three again. This dude's about to drop 40 points, man. He's laughing. He's literally laughing as he shoots the ball. Ben Simmons is a sad case at this point, man. Here's Biombo with a Euro step and blows a wide open layup. <laughs> Bones Highland for three. Splash, man. They're putting the Suns away. It's a 22-point game right now. Carlos Holloway. Cat is injured and apparently weeks away from returning to the court. Damn, that sucks. That sucks. And the Timberwolves are out here getting spanked by the... By the... uh, Detroit Pistons, man. Look at the stats of this one. So Detroit loses 147 to 116 to us. And the next night they put up 135 on the Timberwolves, man. Sadiq Bay had 31. Bojan Bogdanovic had 27. Jaden Ivey with 18. Nerlens Noel with a solid two points in 21 minutes and five rebounds. Man. Every time I see Nerlens Noel, I'm disappointed in his career, to be honest with you. When he was in Philly, man, we thought he was going to be something. 
we thought he was going to be something, and now he's in Detroit putting up two points and five rebounds in, in 21 minutes. Detroit had 18 points from Hamidou Diallo off the bench. Alec Burks off the bench, too, getting buckets. What a journeyman, Alec Burks, man. What a journeyman. What a journeyman that Alec Burks, man. I miss him in Philly, too. I miss Alec Burks in Philly, man. What a journeyman. Kopik, 8 5 and 7 MVP. <laughs> yeah, look. The Nuggets have a good team, man. Last year they had injuries, you know, so you could really make the argument for the Jokic MVP. But this year, I mean, again, Jokic is a great seven-foot point guard. But it, to me, if Jokic is MVP candidate, handing the ball off to Jamal Murray the whole game, James Harden's an MVP candidate for dumping the ball down to Joel Embiid the whole game. It's the same situation. And that's what's funny about what they were freaking out the other night is – that's what's funny about it, because James Harden put up almost the same exact stat line the next day. Nobody's on ESPN or whatever acting like James Harden is the second coming of Jesus Christ because he put up 16 points and 16 rebounds on 95% true shooting percentage. Random Gamer, what up, man? Thanks for coming through. DeAnthony Melton is the best role player Philly's had in the last five, six years. I 1,000% agree with that. 1,000% agree with that. Do you know how many... Do you remember how many years we were yelling? You know, Remember how many years we were yelling, bro, we need a combo guard. We need a combo guard off the bench way back in the Brett Brown era. We were screaming, we need a combo guard off the bench. And we had Trey Burke, and he wouldn't play him. And then he had him cut. I guess I got to hand it to Doc Rivers a little bit, man. At least he puts guards on the floor. At least Doc Rivers puts guards on the floor. Brett Brown was so fascinated with playing three centers and two forwards, man. It was it was putrid. It was hard to watch. <laughs> Kopik, you... Did you say that because I said that on Twitter yesterday? <laughs> yeah, I was like, yo, pause, man. Sixer fan, who's the last player who actually improved since coming to Philly since Melton? Uh, nobody. Yeah, nobody. I mean, Tyrese Maxey being drafted improved, but... uh. I think the Anthony Melton's 25, but he's that's still that's still decently young, man. They can be a good backcourt for a long time. And yeah, I think that's uh I think that's a good a good uh, you know, something I I bring up all the time too is that, you know, people don't really talk about the fact that DeAnthony Melton could improve a lot more you know he was born in may 1998 that makes him 25 this year in may bones highlands balling out six for fan i can't think of anyone most players drastically get worse you're not wrong most players put on a sixers jersey and lose all of their skills like the like that scene in Space Jam. Here's Porter for three, rimmed out. I like Michael Porter Jr., man. What a what a basketball specimen he was coming out of high school and just had some injury issues, man. If he can stay healthy, he's a really fun player. Dario, the process. The process lives. Dario Saric. The process lives, man. There's Aaron Gordon under the rim. Wide open dunk. Shout out to 18 in the playback, man. Let's get that to 20. 
Playback.tv slash Running Back Philly. We're over here watching the game together, man. What do you got? What are you guys doing? If you have access to ESPN, you can watch the game with us. Here's Mikel Bridges around a Dario Saric screen. Dario pick and pop. Oh, the pump fake and drive on Jokic. Floater. Let's go. It's the Dario game. And Jokic put up absolutely zero defensive resistance on the perimeter. Jokic just got smoked on the perimeter by Dario Sarge. Do you guys understand that? You understand how lackluster you have to be defensively to get smoked by a Dario Sarge pump fake? <laughs> Tyrell Jokic is a traffic cone on defense. He is, man. He just stood there and let him go by. He can't move. Can't move his feet. Can't move his feet, man. <laughs> oh, man. That's all I'm saying. I respect his offensive skill set. But, you know, you're just ne you're not going to tell me that he's a better overall center than Joel Embiid just because Joel Embiid impacts the game offensively and defensively. Probably more than anybody in the NBA if we're talking both sides of the ball. Didn't Embiid get 20 scored on him by Hernan Gomez? He did. He did. Hernan Gomez was making some tough shots. But I'm not talking about stats. I'm talking about the eye test, what it looks like. You just watched Jokic stand at the three-point line, and Dario Sarge blew right by him on a pump fake, and he stood there looking lost. But you're right. Hernan Gomez did put up 20 on Embiid. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. If this is like a 30-point blowout, maybe we can go over to YouTube and watch highlights on, on playback TV. I know you can watch highlights on here, man. It'd be a lot of fun to be able to bring YouTube up and watch highlights. That would be a cool thing that I would probably like to do every night. Just go through all of the NBA games and at least watch at least watch all the highlights of all the games, you know what I mean? I used to I used to do that on Twitch. Uh I did post game live on YouTube and then I would go to Twitch and watch highlights and I had some people I had I had a decent amount of people over on Twitch, but you know, you got to it's it doesn't work like like this playback TV thing works, man. Sun's last 12 points scored all came against Jokic, all, uh, all came against attacking Jokic. What happened to Romp? Romp got got hacked by uh Romp got hacked by somebody. Uh and YouTube's trying to figure it out, I guess. Which sucks, but it happens. Uh, the hackers are out here, man. The hackers are out here. Russian Tesla support scam? <laughs> I don't know what it was. I'll tell you one thing, though. As a creator, I get these emails from these people. And you know it's you know it's a scam right away, right? Jamal Murray with a one-footed fadeaway on the left side. That was a tough shot. I agree, Mark Jackson. I agree. Here's Damian Lee. Torrey Craig foul on Aaron Gordon. Fly OG, if the Sixers actually made a decent team around Embiid, they probably would have won a championship by now. Time is running out. I 100% agree with that. I 100% agree with that. I 100% agree with that, man. Uh, the, 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 the best chance they had was against the Toronto Raptors in 2019, and there was this big problem on the court. And his name was Ben Simmons. 
His name was Ben Simmons. Um, and people come at Joel Embiid for that, but I mean, he was playing with. There was no point guard on the floor. We were just running J.J. Redick, and Joel Embiid dribble handoffs 40 feet away from the basket because our point guard, air quotes point guard, was standing on the block uh, doing nothing. Jokic way under the rim. Tough finish. Uh, Yeah. And Jimmy Butler wasn't really, you know, he wasn't a point guard. He would try to take over games, but he wasn't a point guard. And I feel like Brett Brown didn't really know what he was doing either. You know, just playing. Refused to put an actual guard on the floor. I was screaming. That's when my YouTube kind of blew up a little bit when I was screaming about that Brett Brown, Ben Simmons stuff for how long. Uh, because Ben Simmons at the time needed a point guard on the floor. It's the reason they drafted Markel Fultz because they thought he was going to be that guy. One game, one game, I saw Trey Burke play more than 15 minutes alongside Ben Simmons, and Trey Burke put up 21 points and 8 assists, and Ben Simmons had a 35-point triple-double and sat down in the third quarter. It was the best game of Ben Simmons' career. It was the best we had seen him perform with this with the Sixers, and Brett never played Trey Burke again. <laughs> and then Ben just, just went downhill uh fast because he doesn't work on his game at all. He doesn't even like playing basketball. He just has he doesn't he doesn't want to be great at basketball. They knew that. They knew that. It was in his scouting report, man. Everybody knew it. He has a natural ability. He has an unbelievable size and skill set. But he has no work ethic. He wants to go play Call of Duty and hang out with celebrities and models. Uh you know, Jamal Murray, another one footed fadeaway short. There's Damian Lee. Legend lost 50,000 on the NBA. This league is rigged. We all know that. Watch the Warriors be trash all season, then win the playoffs. Makes no sense. Um, I don't know why you would put up $50,000 on a game that's that's banking on uh, a ball going inside of a cylinder, uh, banking on players being healthy, banking on coaches making the right lineup decisions, banking on officials making correct calls. Uh, it sounds to me like you, you got an issue if you lost $50,000 on the NBA this season. And yeah, you <laughs> watch the Warriors be trash all season and then win the playoffs. It makes no sense. I mean, that that could very well happen because it's a it's a sport. It's totally unpredictable. It sounds to me like you're mad that you can't predict a game. You can't predict a game. That's that's why you shouldn't bet on sports. You should make five dollar parlay bets. Try to run DraftKings for a couple hundred. And keep it moving. 50,000? My luck, bro. My luck, I would have had 50 grand on the damn Sixers and the Kawhi Leonard shot bounces four times to to be the only Game 7 buzzer beater in NBA history. I would have jumped off a bridge. Exactly, it's exactly what would have happened to me if I if I bet sports, man. Seventy to fifty four at halftime. J four is that say Jimmy? Jimmy seven, Jammy seven. Yo, DJ, this website is sick. This in the playoffs will be fired, dude. It's dope. 
It's so dope. Bro, it's so dope. And I can't wait for them to have a fully functional... Again, the app is in beta. We're talking about playback TV for everyone on YouTube. The app is the app is in beta. Um, I absolutely can't wait for them to have a, a, a fully functional app that that has a smart TV app, so people can just so you can just turn your TV on and go to playback and watch your favorite creator. You know, watch along basketball games on your TV, bro. It would be so sick. It's gonna be so sick. It's going to be sick. I don't know what they have planned for the future of this app, but they got a dope uh they got a dope program going on right off the bat. Um and a lot more companies are going to start to do it. Like I said, I saw Bleacher Report did a did a game watch along with you know, Kenny Beecham and and Isaiah Thomas and and you you go on there and it's the same concept. You push the button to enter your TV provider. And you get act, then you get access to the game alongside the streamer, uh, and and you know two people having conversations and reacting to a game is pretty cool while you're watching the game. If YouTube was smart, they would have implemented this a long time ago. Like imagine that, imagine that for YouTube, bro. People have been on YouTube doing watch-alongs for years, for years. People have been on YouTube doing watch-alongs. And if you even play a snippet of the audio of the game, you get nailed for copyright. And and YouTube's been paying people, paying entire departments of people to run around in circles, taking channels down for copyright infringement when they should have been focusing on, hold up a second, how can we work out a deal with the networks to allow people to log in to their TV provider and watch the game live with the creator. If you if YouTube would have thought of that back in the day, they would have been way ahead of the curve on this, man. But they didn't. But they didn't. RIP to the entirety of the 21 season because of Philly <laughs> Yeah, that had nothing. That didn't even have anything to do with me playing highlights or anything. That was a, some dumb guy that made a song for the channel and then told me to stop using the song. And I was like, "It's my song." And then he he filed copyright. He filed fake copyright claims. Sent a bunch of fake. Oh, John ja Morant with a poster on Yoka Purtle. Ja had 38 and 5. Here's Boston. I know uh, Jalen Brown had a 41 point game against the Pelicans. Where is Tatum? Was Tatum out this game? Oh, he's deep. Oh, he's deep. 125 to 114. 125 to 114, the Celtics win, man. 40 people in the YouTube stream. What's going on, man? Drop something in the chat. Where are you watching from? What you up to? What you drinking? Are you drinking something? Are you are you sipping on something? Your boy's, your boy's sipping on some Trogues Grand Cacao. I'm about to go get another one. A walking bucket. 41 points and 12 rebounds. Bro, Tyrell, you don't, you wouldn't believe what I was just going to say. Jalen Brown's rookie season. I said something crazy on Twitter. I was like Jalen Brown has unbelievable p- potential. I see a little bit of Kobe Bryant in him. And people came at me on Twitter like, "Are you kidding me?" Jalen Brown had you're going to you're going to bring up Kobe Bryant and Jalen Brown and I was like I just see like the size, the shot making ability, the finishing around the rim, his basketball IQ. Jalen Brown is a stud. 
not 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 you know not on not on Kobe's level. I was just throwing out a little comparison there. You know, maybe maybe more like a Vince Carter, Tracy McGrady. Trick, who's DJ? Who's more hated in Philly, Jokic or Ben Simmons? Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons is going to be hated forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Ben Simmons is going to be hated forever and ever and ever, man. Nothing you can do about it. He did something to this sports fan base that has never been done before. He is 100% the biggest fraud that's ever graced Philadelphia sports. He might be the biggest fraud in the history of sports in general. Besides like Ryan Leaf, you know, who quit playing football because it was hard. <laughs> or uh, or, uh, or uh, Andrew Luck, who went the whole offseason with the Indianapolis Colts and then just quit like preseason week two. It was like, I retired, guys. Sorry. Good luck finding a quarterback. <laughs> uh, I'd have to go... I'd have to put some thought into like the biggest frauds of all time. Biggest frauds of all time, man. Um, man, biggest frauds of all time. It's like Ben Simmons is up there with uh, the guy that like that like purchased the rights to like the medicine that's in EpiPens, and then jacked the price up like times four thousand percent until like the U.S. Congress was interviewing this guy like. You know, you know, you know, people like need this medicine and you're a scumbag. And he wouldn't answer the questions. <laughs> That's a serious fraud. It's like him and Ben Simmons. Who's like the biggest liar in the history of the world? Casey Anthony. Casey Anthony and Ben Simmons. George Zimmerman. Doc Rivers. Yeah, we probably got to go George Zimmerman, Doc Rivers, Casey Anthony, Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons is more hated than the Cowboys in Philly. He is, man. That's a crazy group to be. I said George Zimmerman and Casey Anthony. <laughs> oh, man. Backstab boys. <laughs> oh my. Who's like somebody that robbed uh what was Brett Favre doing? What did Brett Favre get caught doing, man? Like stealing money from a charity to like build his his daughter's school, like new volleyball courts or something crazy weird like that. Yeah, Brett Favre's a fraud too. At least he has the excuse of having a thousand concussions, you know. They really pay four people to sit there at a desk to talk for like five minutes every time there's like end of a quarter and then halftime. That's wild. Wow, put me on there. Let me be on NBA halftime drinking a Trogue's Grand Cacao, man. I'd probably be drinking a, a they'd have to they'd have to pour I'd have to pour it in the coffee cup though. They wouldn't let me drink it on this TV. I'd have to put it in a coffee cup. Like uh Charles Barkley puts Patron in his. You know that one time Shaq looked at Charles and he was like, What's in your cup, man? Like, making fun of him. And he was like, Patron, what you think is in it? <laughs> Remo K, what's up, man? Brett Favre was overrated. I was at 4-26 and 26 as a kid. I remember him floating that interception to B-Daw. Was that, that was when he played for the Vikings, like, towards the end of his career, right? Wait, 4th and 26. That was Donovan McNabb throwing it to... Uh, 
Freddie Mitchell, right? Did Favre play for the play for the Packers in that in that playoff series? I guess he did. That wasn't he wasn't Aaron Rodgers yet, was it? Daquan, how do Nuggets fans sit here and say this man is a better basketball player than Embiid? He's literally the most boring center ever with overrated playmaking. Uh I agree that he's I agree that he's very boring, but I don't know if I can go with overrated playmaking. Um Leagues, sports, network. I'm supposed to be able. To, I'm supposed to be able to bring up YouTube on playback, man. It doesn't seem like I can. Let me ask the guys on Discord real quick. Let me ask the guys on Discord. Hey, how do I access YouTube on? On playback, bro. Hey, guys, how do I bring up YouTube on playback? I want to be able to bring up YouTube, man. They told me I can I can just bring YouTube up on the screen. It would just be cool to be able to Mirror Divine, hey DJ, you should stream an Orlando Magic game now that they are healthy. They're really fun to watch. I'm down for that. I'm down for that. Obviously, we're going to do the Sixers uh, Thunder tomorrow for the Isaiah Joe revenge game. For the Isaiah Joe revenge game. Be right back. Got to get a beverage. Shout out, we still got 18 in the playback, man. You guys are dope, bro. When this thing blows up and we got a couple hundred in here, you know, I'm always going to be shouting out the OGs, man. Embiid and or Jokic need to win a title, otherwise the debate is kind of pointless. Eh. Uh. 
I, I don't ever really get down with that take. Uh, winning an NBA title is not easy to do. A lot of things have to go right. Uh, your team has to be... A lot of things have to go right. You know, you got to have a lot of the right parts, the right pieces. You got to have health. There's a lot of great players who are heralded and, and considered some of the best players of all time who, who, uh, who never won a championship. This game is awful, I agree. Unless the Suns make a comeback. There's a nice block by Bismack Biombo. Here's Dario Sarge for three. Oh, come on, Dario. Represent the process. And then Jokic cherry picking down the other end. There's one of his five wide open shots. Oh, my God. The best efficiency of all time because he cherry picks and gets wide open layups. Who is that? Washington Jr. Jokic almost he almost hit the ball in the wrong basket. Here's Jamal Murray. Jamal Murray's so good, man. Porter Jr. in the corner. He's gonna get a wide open dunk on the drive. That makes it a 20 point game again. Did you watch the Mummers parade on New Year's? No, I did not. I'm not very interested in parades. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just not very interested in parades, I think. But the the last year I went down to my friend's house who lives on 2nd Street in South Philly and we attended the uh what is that? It's like a parade that they do after the parade. It's like the degenerate version of the Mummers parade where like all of the local uh, private clubs like bars, uh, like throw their own, make their own floats and, and have just a degenerate like parade. Like they got like, they got like U-Haul trucks with a DJ in the back and like people dressed up in weird costumes dancing around in the street. Oh, it was, in it was insane. It was the craziest, weirdest thing I've ever seen. It was like Mardi Gras on South in, in South Philly. Daquan, you're right about that. I never hear them say Jokic has to win. Only Embiid has to win. Jokic, Jokic always gets that. I, he always gets that. He took his team to the Western Conference Finals. So he gets that. Somehow the Phoenix Suns are washed as a team. Well, I mean, the whole team's injured. The whole team's injured. Yeah, the second straight after party, bro. That was the most insane thing I've ever seen in my life. It was a lot of fun. And at one point, we went into the parade. We just jumped the fence and joined into the parade. It was a good time. That was a good time. Man, that sucks. I thought I was I thought I was able to get I thought I was able to get uh Inhale you, the club that you're associated with one <laughs> How do you win? How do you win? Is that uh, how, do people vote? South Philly Vikings, that's dope. That's dope, man. How do you, I don't know how you win that. Is it, do people vote? Is that a thing? I'm liking what I got going on in playback right here, man. The first couple times was, was uh, interesting, you know, just trying to figure the whole thing out. I had two microphones going on, one over on YouTube, one on playback. I had a second camera going on on playback, and now I learned how to use my same camera in two different uh 
streams. So I, l I like what we're doing on playback right now, man. I like what my camera looks like. I like my audio. I like it. I'm having a good time on this. And I feel like I can pop up here anytime, every night. Here's Biombo backing down Porter Jr. Oh my God, that was an ugly hook shot. Holy shit. What was that? That was horrendous. Here's Jokic under the rim. Baby hook. Hey, what's up? The stream is finally up and running. Thank God. What happened? Why wasn't it up and running? You couldn't get it going? What happened? Oh, what a play. That Jamal Murray-Jokic two-man game. That give-and-go where Jokic catches the ball high and just kind of drops it behind his head. That's hard to stop. Here's Dario to the rack, and guess who didn't put up any defense? <laughs> I got to be honest, Jokic is getting cooked by Dario Saric. Second time I witnessed it. Hey, what's up, man? Thanks for, uh, glad you got in. Jamal Murray skips it all the way across the floor to Porter Jr. for a high arcing three. Wow. He does have a silky smooth jumper. I agree with that. Mikel Bridges drives baseline, kicks it to Washington Jr. fadeaway three. I mean, what 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 state is your team in when when you're when you're saying Washington Jr. fadeaway three? You know, Porter Jr. His jumper is so nice, man. When you really see him shoot it, when you really see him shoot it, man, his jumper is so nice, bro. His jumper is so nice. Did they get called for an offensive foul there? Or what happened? Copic, the state of Philadelphia. <laughs> I couldn't believe that guy tried to roast me. And he said the state of Philadelphia. That was crazy. Daquan, you're right. Jokic defense is trash, but... Uh, Jokic fans don't want to have that conversation. Jay Vicious, exactly. That's exactly what he is, bro. He's a seven foot point guard with a very high basketball IQ. He's great, but if he was six, if he was six six, nobody would be amazed by what he's doing. They'd be like, "This is a very good point guard." So being a seven foot point guard, okay, you know, it's rare. I agree, but it's not earth shattering. You know, like I said before. Magic Johnson was a 6'10 point guard and won an NBA championship as a rookie playing center. So this isn't earth-shattering stuff here. Man, that referee's a dork. Uh... Mir, you're right. Jokic fans use everything but the eye test to tell you he's a good defender. That's the funniest part about it. Like, just admit that he's great offensively, uh, facilitator. He's a good shooter. He's a good high IQ. All that stuff. Uh, yeah, Kopic, you're right. You're right. You know, I'm not even saying Jokic isn't. Uh, he's a very rare talent, but it's the people acting like it's never been seen before, and he's the greatest center of all time. It's like, nah, he's a point guard. Let's call it what it is. Is 
Nuggets are a very good team. If the Nuggets can stay healthy, they could they could they could uh if the Nuggets can stay healthy, I'm I'm probably going Nuggets to in the Western Conference Finals, honestly. I w- I would take the Nuggets right now to make it to the Western Conference Finals if they can stay healthy. And a large part of that is a large part of that is Jamal Murray, Michael Porter Jr., Aaron Gordon, of course. Bones Highland coming off the bench. They have a great roster, man. That's what really got me, though, when they tried to argue that he's a great defender. When they kept telling me he's like, I don't know, value over replacement player and Raptor, which I don't even remember what that stands for. Rate A player, I don't know, something, something adjusted Real, adjusted, what does Raptor stand for? I don't know. Something weird. Even true shooting percentage is a dumb equation that that just doesn't make any sense. Total shots, it's the sum of total shot attempts and free throw attempts times .0475. Like, why? Like, who makes up these equations? True shooting percentage. Total shot attempts plus total free throw attempts times .475. Why? I need to know why. Or something like two point attempts plus half the three point attempts, and then free throw attempts divided by forty. Like whatever, I don't know. Who makes up these equations, Jokic fans? <laughs> All right, let's see it. Let's see a comeback here. <laughs> that ain't happening. That ain't happening. If this is a thirty point game, I'm probably not going to do the fourth quarter. Jokic with an offensive rebound tip in. Come on, Dario. Box out. Box out, Dario. You're making the process. You're not representing the process. Damian Lee drives and doesn't even hit the rim. Mikel Bridges, shot clock violation. Man, this game's disgusting. I literally never heard of Vorper Raptor until Jokic's case for MVP last season. I haven't either. That's a good point. That's a real good point. I haven't either. Or LeBron, yeah. What what was what is that? Every time, so every time I see the trade machine, every time I see the trade machine, it's like it says the player's LeBron stat. What is what is the LeBron stat? Let's find out. All right, first of all, let's find out what VORP is. Okay, let's find out what VORP is. What is VORP? Here we go. In baseball, okay, so first of all, VORP is a baseball statistic. Value over replacement player is a statistic popularized by Keith Woolner that demonstrates how much a hitter or pitcher contributes to their team in comparison to a replacement level player who is an average fielder at that position and a below average hitter. What is VORP in the NBA? Value over replacement player. A box score estimate of the points per 100 team possessions that a player contributed above a replacement level minus 2.0 player translated to an average team and prorated to an 82-game season. What? Come on, man. Value over replacement player. A box score estimate of the points per 100 team possessions that a player contributed above a replacement level player. Why? Why? First of all, whose idea was it to be like, okay, he's good, but how much better is he than the last guy on the bench? 
and then compare him to other stars and be like, yeah, but you know he's not as much better as the last guy on the bench as this guy. <coughs> so yeah, exactly. So your your team has a worse bench. So I'm a so you're a a more valuable player because your value over those terrible bench players is better. That's just ridiculous. I know what they're trying to say. They're trying to say, you know, when 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 players come in and his when they when they substitute other players, you know, how much difference does it make? How much of a negative impact is it? But it's just something you can't draw a conclusion on. All right, let's look up Raptor. Here we go. Raptor NBA stat. I remember when I when I live streamed with Swipe a Cam and he was just rattling these off the top of his head. He was like, "Oh, Raptor, that's this. This is what that means." Come on, just make it a thirty point game. Introducing Ra- okay, yeah. Oh, I remember. I remember looking this up, bro. I remember looking this up live on the stream. Raptor is a stat that was invented by these dudes that made a website called 538. So it's not even a real stat. It's a stat made by these guys that made a a website. Raptor was invented in 2019. So Raptor is literally an advanced statistic that was invented in 2019. Introducing Raptor, our new metric for the modern NBA. So this is definitely not a stat that anybody can... Uh, this is not a stat that anybody can use because it's not real. These probably are, these probably are Denver Nuggets fans too. All right, here's what Raptor is. Raptor, which stands for robust algorithm player tracking on off ratings. (laughs) First of all, what kind of nerd... Bro, <laughs> his Raptor is record-breaking because the tracking began three years ago. First of all, what kind of nerd goes to name? Uh, like, if you made up a stat or an equation, who in the room was like, how about robust? <laughs> who in the room was like, hey, what should we call this? And this nerd in the back was like, let's start with the word Robust. What the hell? Who even uses the word robust like as part of their normal vocabulary? Robust algorithm using player tracking and on-off ratings is 538's new NBA statistic. We're pretty excited about it. In addition to be a statistic we bake in-house, Raptor fulfills two long-standing goals. We wanted to create a publicly available statistic that takes advantage of modern NBA data specifically player tracking and play-by-play data that isn't available in traditional box scores. Second, and relatedly, we wanted a statistic that better reflects how modern NBA teams actually evaluate players. This article will go over some of the highlights of how Raptor works. Like BPM and RPM, Raptor is a plus-minus statistic that measures the number of points a player contributes to his team's offense and defense per 100 possessions relative to a league average player. For instance, a player with an offensive Raptor rating of plus 2.1 boosts his team's performance by 2.1 points per 100 offensive possessions while he is on the floor. Likewise, a player with a defensive Raptor of plus 3.4 would improve his team's defensive performance by 3.4 points per 100 possessions while he's on the court. So it's just a points per 100 possessions while that player's on the floor. Isn't that just a plus minus per 100? A box score component into whatever, dude. This is too long. This is like 10,000 paragraphs explaining this statistic.
has to be from from where who what's 538.com who are these guys what is 530 538.com Mark Jackson said the wild card to him in the East is the 76ers. I got to agree with that. <laughs> We're a wild card. Uh, it's just because it's kind of an unknown because we've been injured the whole season. 538. is an American website that focuses on opinion poll and analysis, politics, economics, and sports blogging. I want to know the origins of 538. Created by Nate Silver. Where's Nate Silver from? Nate Silver is an American statistician, writer, and poker player. <laughs> Nate Silver invented 538, who invented the Raptor stat. Just nerds doubling down on nerds, man. <laughs> statistician, writer, and poker player. Where's he from? He's got to be from. Where's he from? Silver was born in East Lansing, Michigan. Damn, I was hoping it was going to say he's from Denver so I could say that stat was made up specifically for Nikola Jokic, but we're letting poker players decide who the best NBA players are. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Hey, thanks for everybody for coming through, man. I'm going to shut down the uh, YouTube side of things here. This is a 30-point blowout on a Wednesday night. It's almost midnight. Uh, nobody actually cares about it. But I appreciate all of you for hanging out, listening to me ramble and stuff. So thank you for coming through. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel.